Hello friends and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this video, we are going to learn how to create sub form in Microsoft Access 2016. In our previous video, we have already learned how to create sub report and sub data sheet. Now creating sub form is exactly similar to that. Let's take for an example, I have created a form for customers in which the customer can place an order for a particular item. So in one form, it will have the customer information like the first name, last name, the address and the phone number. In the same form, we will try to create a sub form in which the form will consist of the product details like the product name and how much quantity that particular customer has to order. But while creating a sub form, we have to make sure of one thing that the provided related data should have one to many relationship. If you do not have this relationship, we will not able to create a sub form. Also, the next thing it is telling you that this will allow you to present many related data in the same related record. All right, let's go ahead and understand how to create sub forms in our practical approach. So now let's go ahead and create a sub form. So in order to do that, I will be requiring a form. So under the navigation pane and under the forms, I will pull out this particular form which says customers. Now I have the customer form with me. So before I start off, let me tell you quickly what we're going to do out here. We are going to pull out the first name and the last name and we have to check whether with what order that particular customers has placed. So in order to make this changes in this form, I have to go under the view tab and I will select the design view. Under the design view, I'll be able to delete the unnecessary fields which I won't be requiring in my sub form. So I, let's say I don't require all these fields. So I selected using my mouse. I have deleted. I don't even want this particular search button. So I want the first name, the last name and the search box if I want to select a particular customer. Now uh, we will go ahead and create a sub form. So in order to create a sub form, I have to go under the design tab. Now the process will remain the same. In our previous video, we have already learned how to create a sub report. Now this time we are going to create a sub form. So under the controls group, you can see there is a sub form or sub report. I'll simply select the sub form and I'll drag it here. Uh, let's say I want it here. So I have made, uh, I have dragged and I have placed it here. Now automatically a sub form wizard has popped up right in front of you. I say I want to pull out the order items, right? I want to pull out this particular form which says order item. I simply select next. Now what it is telling me, uh, define the links, uh, define which links your main form to this sub form yourself. So basically I can define my own rule or I can choose it from the list. So I say show order item for each record using the customer ID. So basically using the customer ID, it will pull out the details. I simply select next and it is asking you what should be the name of this form. I say order item one underscore one. All right. So this is how I can give it a name. I can type any random name. It's all up to you guys. And I simply select finish. So now out here, I can see I have the sub form ready with me. Now out here, I don't require all the items. Uh, I simply require the quantity that particular item uh, the customer has placed the order ID yes I'll be requiring that as well and I'll select uh, delete the unnecessary elements or the unnecessary fields which I won't be requiring now let's go ahead and see uh, under the view tab I'll select the form view all right so basically it's uh, showing nothing so I'll select a record I'll go to this drop down menu and let's select uh, Jones no Jones has not placed any order I will have to select some order all right, so I have the Smith order. So I have Jalil Smith and he has placed an, the order number is five and he has placed order for cookies, ginger shortbread and the quantity is one. Similarly, I can select for another item. Let's say yes, Gibson has placed an order for pastries and he has placed an order for four quantities. So this is how you can create a sub form which is interrelated. So this is how you can create a sub form in Microsoft Access 2016. 